What is up guys? Jimmy here with JPS Plumbing and today we're going to have a little fun and do a little experiment. In this experiment we're going to be determining which plumbing pipes holds up best in freezing temperatures. The way that we're going to be doing this is we're going to be filling up a variety of different pipes that I've gathered, um, some pipes that one might find plumbed throughout their home. Uh, we're going to fill them up with water, we're going to cap each end and we're going to pop them in the freezer for about 24 hours and we're going to see the outcome of it. So let's not waste no more time and jump to this experiment. This one right here for every homeowner, a person out there with a plumbing issue. You want to do it yourself? JPS, where to go? When that toilet don't flush right or that sink cloud, Jimmy's plumbing solutions gonna help you fix it all. With 10 years in the game in this plumbing trade. He don't wanna ask for help, I know that's why you came Hook up that kitchen faucet with step-by-step -step plumbing knowledge Do it yourself, cause it can save you a couple dollars For minor issues every homeowner yet to see JPS can say today we solving problems easily No need to fear a couple pipes and some standing water Just watch the video here and we can get it in order Come ask a question, leave a comment, like and subscribe If plumbing tips are what you need, that's what he supplies Alright guys, it's been well over 20 hours since we put the pipes in the freezer, so let's go ahead and crack it and see what we got. First thing we notice is the shark bite fitting. It, it got completely blown off the uh, copper pipe. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, all the red water uh, that's frozen. Uh, as of right now, that's all I can notice, but let's go ahead and uh, remove everything and set them up on the table so we can get a closer look. Alright guys, got all the pipes out of the freezer and laid out in front of us. So let's go ahead and uh, check each one out and kind of go over what happened. So the first pipe that we're going to go over is going to be the CPVC. Uh, no visual breaks. Pipe actually seems fine and intact. So shark bite fitting actually held up pretty good on this one. Um, on the other one that I fabbed up for the CPVC which had the glue fitting, on the, the end uh, actually has a bulge in the pipe right before the fitting. It didn't bust, but um, but man, it, that freezing, it just expanded and, and expanded the pipe with it. Okay, so the next one is going to be uh, PVC <laughs> and right off the back I see visible cracks. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, 
four cracks. This one right here, I mean, this just would have been water everywhere whenever it, it, it unthawed in your home. I also fabbed up another uh, PVC. It cracked right at the female adapter. Alright, so next is going to be copper. And <laughs> on the copper, uh, the shark bite fitting did not hold w up well at all. It completely blew it off. Just completely blew it off. It actually looks pretty cool, but man, this thing could cost you a lot of money in a freeze if that were to happen. Uh, so the next one that I fabbed up on a copper pipe was a, a Pro Press fitting. And it doesn't seem like the Pro Press, the Pro Press fittings hold up too good in uh, freezing conditions. As you can see here, I marked where the makeup was on the uh, actual fitting. And yeah, I mean, it, it pretty much blew off. It just, it didn't come off of the pipe completely. But yeah, not good on the Pro Press fittings. Uh, Okay, so next is going to be the PEX piping, which doesn't appear to have any, any busts, any cracks, nothing, as well as this one that I fabbed up. They're holding up pretty good. Alright guys, so there you have it. I really hope this experiment was as fun for you as it was for me. And I really hope that it can help you determine the next plumbing pipe that you will be installing in your home. Uh, I gotta say with the experiment, the top contender is gonna be uh, PEX piping uh, that I would recommend. Um, it's just, it's, it's cheap, it's easy to install, and man, um, you can't beat it. Uh, this is with no insulation. Of course, none of these other pipes had insulation on them as well. And don't get me wrong, they're actually pretty good systems it's just right here one in our experiment um, just straight pipe um, they all had issues with them except for the PEX piping so they got to count for something but um, but yeah so there you have it I really hope you guys enjoyed it so until the next time happy plumbing and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please do so and consider smashing the like button as it helps this channel out with the algorithm and YouTube and everything. So until next time guys, happy fun.